In December, the health ministry issued a decree that private clinics could no longer hand out PrEP and PEP medicines, which are used as drugs to reduce the chances of contracting HIV from sex or drug use. The move by the ministry has created an obstacle for patients and added to the workload of many public hospitals. The health ministry sent out letters to private clinics stating that PEP prep drugs should be handed out only at the discretion of a doctor and pharmacist, despite these clinics having doctors overseeing the process. The decision is seen as a cost-saving measure, cutting government expenditure on private health care services, resulting in commercial and non-profit clinics not being able to provide these drugs for free. The Rainbow Sky Association is one of many private clinics providing healthcare services, such as blood tests for STDs and giving out PEP and PrEP drugs, following Thailand's national strategy to end AIDS by 2030. แต่ว่าทีนี้เราเราเรามีการอธิบายไปแล้วว่าขั้นตอนทั้งหมดเนี่ยภายใต้การกำกับดูแลของบุคลากรทางการแพทย์ล้วนๆเลยเพียงแต่ว่าสถานที่มันไม่ได้เราก็ไม่ได้รับคําตอบในเรื่องของสถานที่ในการที่จะจัดเก็บยาจะเก็บที่ไหนคือจะให้ไปที่โรงพยาบาลหรือว่าผู้รับบริการก็เลือกได้ไหมที่ถ้าเขามาตรงนี้แล้วเขาสามารถที่จะรับยาจากตรงนี้ได้ There is no current timeline on how clear things will become regarding the decision, as the government has barred clinics from giving out the drugs. But we have to answer the question: Will we help the doctors who have been doing this work for years? Will they be able to give the drugs to the public? Will there be a state hospital that has been stated in the Indian Constitution that if we do it in the state hospital, we have a doctor who has been doing the work for the doctor who has been doing the work for the doctor, we will be able to help the doctor. We have to have a way to say that we can't do it. We want to know how we can do it. We want to know how we can do it. With every minute ticking by, many lives are at risk of this drug being difficult to access. How can Thailand achieve this national strategy of ending AIDS by 2030 if these drugs, which help prevent the spread of HIV, are not easily accessible? Are we moving backward? Will the Ministry of Health be able to give people the easy way out for their health and well-being?